Tomorrow is Giving Tuesday, and nonprofits across Detroit are hoping you'll choose them to help. As many nonprofits say, donations have remained stagnant or declined. A study shows donations to nonprofits fell by 7% in the first half of this year compared to last year. It comes as the need for services has continued to rise month over month. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney spoke to some organizations about the best ways you can help. Box after box. Where are you putting these right now? Over there. Oh, by the soup? Okay, that's a good idea. In can after can, Jennifer Braun and her family are trying to do their part, volunteering at Crossroads of Michigan, an organization in the New Center area providing food, hygiene items, clothing, and transportation for people in need. I wanted them to actually give back and do something rather than just, you know, donating money or something like that. I wanted them to be invested in the process. This at a time when nonprofits say they need the community's help more than ever. We have seen a, a marked increase of 15% month over month for those coming to us for, for all services. So um, our, our parents needing um, support with diapers and formula, uh, those coming to us uh, for the food pantry, those coming to us for the soup kitchen. Joe Zakins with Crossroads says their ability to serve is directly tied to the number of volunteers they have, which trailed off during the pandemic. Nonprofits say they've also seen stagnant or fewer monetary donations. According to philanthropy.com, donations dropped 7% in the first half of 2022 compared to 2021. And the dollars they are getting aren't going as far. With inflation, um, we we can only do as much with our dollar. Um, we're seeing more people come to us for help. So um, that donation is not going as far as it did um, in years previous. It's a similar story for nonprofit Detroit Impact, an organization that provides safe spaces for kids. Detroit Impact over its 31 years of existence has existed through grant writing, through uh, program, development through fundraising, um, but since we were impacted by the uh, epidemic uh, that um, uh, our funding has fallen off. Executive Director Calvin Colbert says the dollars are needed to fund their reading literacy programs, anti-violence programs, and hire therapists for mental health counseling. Things Colbert says are becoming increasingly crucial. Many of our young people today are submerged in negativism. Their whole world is dark. So we have to reveal to them that ain't all of it. That exists, but look at this over here. It's the reason nonprofits are reminding people of the importance of a gift. Whether it's money or time, it makes a difference. We've been doing this work for 51 years. Um, so we've certainly seen recessions. We've certainly seen um, struggles in the economy and inflation. Um, we know that together we can do this work. For more information on how you can help different nonprofits across Metro Detroit, head to WXYZ.com. For 7 Action News, I'm Whitney Burney. Whitney, thank